Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. So looking at the US there, we had some actually some weak inflation data came out on Friday afternoon, which uh, caused a little bit of a wobble on the US dollar. Uh, and we actually saw the US there just down ever so slightly throughout its session, closing bang on that potential support at 17738. And so still got some sort of doji formation this morning, as a lot of European indices are actually trading near all time high, specifically I'm talking about the Germany 30, uh, closing in on 12,000 as that ECB stimulus um, still is uh, causing a big influx of uh, capital or get a flight of capital from the US uh, across to Europe as higher yields are seen there in the medium to longer term. So this looks to be the potential pivot level. You do have the MACD about to cross the zero line. The other technical indicators uh, are kind of relatively neutral, indicating there's further still to go. So it's looking like pressure might be ramping up on the US 30, especially in the absence of any economic data until later on in the week. Um, moving on to the UK 100, um, you'll be able to see there for a volatile session again on Friday, closing above the 55 period SMA, stopping shy of 67.71, where we still remain today. Other technicals are neutral. Uh, this is going to probably take lead from the US 30. Uh, to choose a particular direction. So if we begin to see uh, more of a sell-off in the US, that could hurt the, the UK 100, with 6686 being the next potential support. Um, obviously, a lot of the other European uh, Boris is doing a lot better than the UK 100 right now. So moving on to Japan 225, which is comfortably at 15-year highs. Um, we're almost a third of the way uh, from uh, potential support from 18648 uh, all the way up to 20,868. Um, we have seen uh, uh, dollar yens at 121.20 right now, um, but all in all this is still looking pretty bullish for, for Japan um, with a decent session there on Friday and a decent start to today. Um, I think you've seen um, a number of Chinese uh, Boris is also up as uh, over the weekend we had con continued confirmation of the uh, Chinese government doing whatever it will take to help to uh, boost growth levels there to maintain a certain level of uh, of growth each year, and that's um, had a kind of a, a side effect to the Japan 25. Obviously, a big trade partner for China as well. So um, things looking relatively bullish on that index at 15-year highs. So moving on to dollar yen, uh, dollar yen still seems to be kind of. Um, flirting around about 121.87, which has been a potential resistance for a number of uh, for a number of months. This was the high from mid December, with 124.42 still being a longer term potential resistance. But we've had a failure so far to break 121.87, which would only help to fuel that Japan 225 uh, rally a little bit further if we get a decent breakout. Crude oil West Texas is, uh, is is back in the toilet again, so to speak, flirting with the uh, 43.29. Um, we're off the session lows, but um, uh, the, the glut of oil in the US and uh, the non-reduction in shale gas production has, uh, has really impacted, it has started to impact again with Texas Crude and Brent. Um, $35.30 is the next potential support. Um, obviously Goldman Sachs came out with a, a note recently giving a $40 price target. They might get that sooner rather than later. In fact, the latest price target I saw from Goldman Sachs for your dollar was um, your dollar at 0 0.8. Uh, 0 0.80 by the end of 2017. Um, that's obviously still quite far away from now, but considering your dollar right now is at 105, um, that's not that far away, incidentally. So some markets getting really hit just now. Gold um, had a bit of a bounce there on Friday because the US dollar uh, took a little bit of a backseat uh, following that uh, disappointing uh, inflation data from the US. We're up a little bit higher today. Um, 11.37 still is the next potential support with potential resistance 11.86. Um, which means we're basically slap back in the middle of the two ranges. So not a lot happening on gold as of today. So moving um, quickly on to um, your dollar. Uh, your dollar, uh, as we mentioned, is at, is at 105 in the middle of two ranges. 102 spot 23 is going to be the potential support. 1 spot 0786 potential resistance. Not a lot to talk about either with uh, your dollar. Similar to gold, when it's stuck in the middle of two ranges like this, it makes it a little bit uh, unexciting. But a lot of people are waiting for it to break parity now. Uh, that'll be the thing you'll see in a lot of newspapers if and when it happens. To be fair, it's probably more likely that it's, um, it's a case of when rather than if at this stage. Just literally because you do have that diverging monetary policy between the US and the Eurozone. US raising rates, Eurozone embarking on a huge stimulus package. Cable, however, is that little bit more interesting because it just smashed through potential support one spot for 813. Um, we might have some sort of retracement back up to this level. So broken support now is expected to act as resistance. You've got a death cross just about to happen on the moving averages. 
and the other technicals are firmly into oversold territory. So you could expect there to be a, a, a slight rebound, and then perhaps if the dollar continues to strengthen at the expense of the of GBP, you might get a slight rebound and then fall through down a little bit lower. The spot on spot 42, 43 being the next potential support, which is a good bit lower. So economic data-wise, there's nothing happening that much today. Um, Tuesday, you've got a whole raft of European CPI data, so that's going to be big for uh, for your dollar. The ZEW business report, that'll be big for your dollar in the Germany 30. Fast forward to Wednesday, Bank of England minutes, um, and the FOMC policy decision. That's obviously going to be quite important as well, and that will come with a, a statement that everybody will, will be waiting for, which is to see if the Fed uh, will remove the term patience uh, when thinking about future rate hikes, which will pave the way for an earlier rate hike rather than later on in the year. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your life going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.